Creating conference calls in MyTel Connect. There are two easy ways to create a conference call in MyTel Connect. In the client software, select events. At the top, in the upcoming events, you can select the plus sign for a new event. Here we can put in the name of our new event, the date, the time, the duration in hours or minutes. We can select a location. You have the option to use your own standing conference bridge, or you can generate a new one. Organizers are here. These are organizers are from the phone system. Here we can add presenters. You can be people from your contact list. Here we can see this one's gray because he's an Outlook contact. We can add additional participants who would require approval before they get to present. Next, we have the agenda, where we can block out each portion of the presentation. Below that, we have an overview, where we can describe our presentation. If you have a Dropbox account, you can choose files from Dropbox to share with your meeting attendees. Under More Settings, we have additional customization options. We can protect the web meeting with a password. We can create our own custom access code to dial in with. We can choose how we announce our participants. I like to have them record their name. We can put all participants on mute when they come in. We can decide if we're going to show everyone's name in the web page to all the participants. And we can also, on the outbound calls, automatically add or make them press 1 to enter the audio portion of the meeting. Once you've selected all of your options, hit Create. The client software pops an Outlook calendar item where we can see the organizer, the agenda, our overview, the subject line, the location, and the dial-in information. From here, you can go about and invite people from your organization or add any other contacts. We can also create our meetings in Outlook to populate an appropriate subject, a location. We can invite participants. You can insert documents. Everything that you would do for a normal meeting request. Once you've populated the calendar invite, you'll select the conference button in the upper right hand corner. Once the meeting is created, we can see our dial-in information here. We still have access to the advanced options, your conference and settings. We can pick our participant code. We can protect the web meeting with a password, decide when the meeting will start. If we're playing a tone or asking participants to record their name, we will mute all participants. And when the system dials out, whether they're automatically added or if they must press 1 to enter the audio portion. Once all these items are complete, you can send your meeting invite out. I can now join my meeting by going to Events in the Client Software, click the call, click for the screen share, or on the Mobility application, I can go to my events, join the meeting from here with a one-touch dial. The meeting also shows up on the home notification screen. Please note, to connect cloud customers get the meetings and the mobility app as part of their bundles. For premise customers, you must have the service appliance, web and audio licenses, and for the mobility application to join, you would need the mobility router.